Is, it's me again, Trippy Madness, back in doing some more Fatal Frame. Doing it in a nice dark time at night time. Just finished up doing my rehearsals for a play that I'm in and decided to have a quick jump on here because I thought I would after doing a two hour session today early in the morning. But no, nah, you know what? This game really deserves. Oh, I am so sorry about that, guys. I'll click out of that so we don't get blinded again. There we go. Ooh. Yes, the only light that's lighting me up is the screen, so anything that jumps out is really going to be scary, and then everything else around me is dark. So, let's add to the fear factor for myself. Anyway, let's get into this. Up to the fifth drop. Okay, from the writings he found out Ichiru Mana, Ren learns of folklore, so he lived in Makakami. Ren says that, oh, so I'm being Ren this time again. Okay, so I've got all my stuff. Let's start this episode, okay? Veiled House, Ren Hojo. Yeah, this is pretty creepy. In the course of the investigation, Ren and Rui learned of Kenji Watatari, a folklorist who settled on Mount Akami. His writings are said to be a treasure trove of information about the mountain and this peculiar folklore. Ren and Yuri happen across a videotape that might just indicate the way to Watatari's residence. A videotape, you say? Yeah, where am I going to watch it up there? Okay, so we've got such a trapped in. Does the key to all these events lie in the mountain's dark past? Well, I'm going to say yes to that one. Okay. Found Seems to be like, of course, I should take a look at it. Okay, what is that? Saying things are around me, but they're not really around me though. Oh, wait. Huh. Drop them first. He reads these people's freaking diaries so much. Sleep, I won't tell. He won't tell me much, but it seems like he has a reoccurring dream about a ceremony from his childhood. Ah uh, yes, we watched that, and it looks like he stabs a girl, and then the girl that we were supposed to be stabbed tried to kill another girl that I was playing as with the cat. So, and there's a lot of creepy dolls in that one. I didn't like that. Those were some creepy, creepy dolls. Anyway, as a young boy, Mr. Hojo said he spent a summer with relatives at the base of Mount Kigaroi. Okay? He mentioned playing in an old house and in a shrine on the mountain, and some kind of festival he went to. Mr. Hojo doesn't talk about it. His past much so what is it he told me I remember clearly is he dreaming of that ceremony I went to festivals as a child but all I can remember is having a good time it doesn't sound like the festival Mr. Hodo dreams about is any fun he often cries don't look at me in his sleep there's enough he, he always has a hard time with people staring at him especially just like when women look at him for too long Ugh. I don't even look at Miss Kurosawa or Miss Kuzukata in the eyes sometimes he doesn't have an issue with me though are the women he dreamed of really that frightening? Yeah, but I'm fairly sure Rui is a girl too. Or just she's so, he she is so androgynous you just don't know. And the old house, okay, that's something I've got to watch. Here we go. See, when I was playing as the girl, I was running around in here. Seeing this house here before. How's oh, the folklore some after? Uh, anyone in? Shouldn't you knock first? I'm going in. Looks like someone was dragged around on the ground there. See, look, he was dragged around. Whoa! Part of the floor is missing. That was scary. A phone. Whoa! Ooh. Let's just move 
move on, shall we? <laughs> Definitely looks like someone was dragged around there. Oh, that was. I'm going to investigate the box, yeah? Maybe? <gasps> Some stairs! Yeah, way too stairs. I've got to go upstairs. Called it. I'm on the second floor now. Thought it was the third. Not really. There's that hole! Oh, hello! You didn't see him? Is that dude still there? Books. More books. Wow. That's a lot of books. Hold it. Gotta love these old VHS tapes. Creepy doll. Samurai sword? Oh! More stairs. Well, ladder? Stairs? What would you call that? It's like a. Uh, I'd say ladder. Is there a third floor? Ah, see, there you go. I'm gonna climb up the ladder. Honestly, I'm waiting for the grudge chick to appear. Looks like it's the attic. Turn, turn, turn. Ghost! Oh. Oh, there he is. <gasps> That's not creepy at all! Dario found at the old inn mentioned that Frank Wilson was done by the company. I found more information on him, including his name. Books on the occult. Ooh. This folk lore is Kenji Watatari. To the mountain due to his obsession with mysteries of the sect living there. He then went missing and mentioned in the diary and rumors about what happened to him about. Huh. They say that he didn't just die or go missing, but rather he stumbled on something the man kept wanted to keep hidden, and so his entire house was swallowed up by the mist. This is the origin of one of the company's more recent stories of a haunted house. Nice. Oh, the rest of this is unclear. I looked into a videotape left behind by someone who stumbled across the house. The video is apparently famous in occult circles. I'm going to contact the publisher and received the following response. Dear Roy Karagami, uh, sorry I butchered that name, I, I suck with it. Thank you for contacting us. The video you are looking for is no longer in print, but there are some copies in our warehouse. The video comes with a huge amount of feedback from customers. Tape was found near a river on Mount Akami. It was unknown who filmed it. There were many sections too damaged by the water to be usable, and so we took what was left and edited it together. Oh, that's pretty cool. The last copy of the video was confiscated by the police. They conducted a search of the mountain, but were unable to find who shot the film, or even the house's location. Yeah. Now that entering the unfathomable forest is prohibited, we advise you not to look in the woods on your own. Kojo Kinomoto. Tsugensha uh, Film Division. Oh. I believe the building visible at the start of the video is the Shrine of Dolls. After that, we see what seems to be a cave, but it's hard to make it out. From the large number of books seen in the house, it's like, I believe that is really is the former home of Kenji Watatari. Okay. Ooh. Phone call. Hello? Ren speaking. Ren. Hmm? Kazuya. I've been trying to get in touch with you. I was worried. Hello? Oh, he's in the house. Listen, about what I said to you before. I'm getting married. Uh oh. What? You are? Yeah. That's. Wow. Um. Congratulations. Uh, and 
who's the lucky bride? Anyone I know. Um, ooh. Ever since I saw her picture. Uh oh. Well, That's creepy. Oh, that scratchy noise. Ugh. Quick, we must find him and save his life. Wait. Did anyone else see the reflection moving? Yeah, that, those books were sliding. I swear I saw it. Yeah, they were, like, moving like that. That was weird. I like that. That was super creepy. Oh, jeez, we're straight here. <laughs> Mr. Sakaki, the he was helping you look for post-mortem photographs, wasn't he? Got my camera. He went missing. Smile for the birdie ghosts. I'm just glad to know he's still alive. There's some lifelike dolls in here, it's so creepy. Oh, oh. That was so weird. It was all black and then it happened. So I know where I'm going. Powerful force, eh? Oh. So I have to, like, work my way around? Out of my way. Here we go. What's happening? Another door's open now. Don't do this again. This person is so influenced by ghosts. What is with horror, Japanese horror games and these dolls? Ah, it's un oh, oh. Yeah, she's a ghost. I had to fight Don't her. Talk to me. Oh. I'm not supposed to talk to the living. <gasps> a man at last. What is a man? You are a man. Oh. Are you not? Huh? I'm a girl. Oh, they see you. Liar. Huh? I, I am. I see. In oh. that case, let us play. Uh oh. This is you. This is an effigy of you. No. I'll make you into an effigy. I don't know. <gasps> I can't not notice your friend's gone. Okay, that startled me a little. What was that? Where did you go? Stupid ghosts! Have anything to give me a hint? No, okay. I've already been down this way, so... Let's have a look in here. Yep, it's open. Oh, what? Damn it. So I gotta find he, her, her, he first. Honestly, what's the point of bringing some? Maybe down this way? Why bring any of these people with you if they keep getting done in by ghosts? My only thought. 
My pants are all wet. I think you walk so weird through there. I saw that. I hate that. I do. It's supposed to prompt you to get grabbed by something, but I haven't had it grab me in a while, so I think it's like false uh, sense of security. It's items down here though. I'm gonna grab it. My hand's gonna grab me. No, still not. <laughs> Oof. Jesus. Taking this. Yeah, still not going grabbed. I wonder why. Wish you would not move around like that. It's so weird. Ooh! I dodged it! <laughs> That's what happens. It tries to grab me and then you gotta fight it off. I'm so lucky. I saw it. The children are playing. Sometimes I wake up at night feeling their presence. The fine morning goals that I know I've put away have moved somewhere, someplace else. The more this happens, the more clearly I hear the sounds of playing, and the more often I have dreams where I'm the, I'm the children playing with them. Ah, can't make out the children clearly, but I think my late daughter is one of them. Last night I felt like I was being watched. I awoke to find a white-haired girl staring at me. I said, "Don't worry, your daughter's playing with the doll you fixed." After that, she disappeared. His eyes, she. It's like she could see everything. He even seemed to answer the very question that was in my mind. Okay, so. I'm gonna head this way. Why would he walk that way through the water? It doesn't make sense. Okay, so back up. This way? A hint on where she might be would be nice. Oop, what's that? Ah, uh, just dollars, okay. Okay, this way? Yeah, that's still creepy to see. Ooh. Damn, that was loud. So, I think I'm going the right way. Yep, got medicine, I'm all good. Oh, okay, yep, yep. So, I came out here to no avail. I need to go to the other side? So many dolls! So creepy. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to camera mode so I can see a little bit better. Oh, that's a big one. I think something's here. What's here? I got some herbs. Yeah, this is pretty lackluster this time. Ooh. I get ya? supposed to take the photo. So, no clue what that did for me. I think it was just to activate the ghost to fight, but I, I couldn't do anything to it. Because I had to reload my camera. It's 
clips his head on it. Here we go. Pick him up. Any ghost hands? Nah, we're good. There's a sword, notebook. Today's dream was stifling. It was night and several men carrying burning flames sent a long time exploring the area underneath the mine shrine. They carried a huge rock really underground, burying it with no one would ever find it. Ooh. That white haired girl was sleeping inside the box. She was waiting for someone, but it wasn't me. I didn't have what she wanted. At least I felt like I did. I remember feeling so incredibly sad when I woke up. Yeah, right. I feel like that white haired girl's tied to this guy. So I'm lapping around, but I don't know where this girl is, seriously. I kinda use my little guide. So this way? See, I'm just back here. I'm missing something. Maybe I'm like tracing the wrong way. So I honestly am lost, guys. I know I'm back. Oh shit, that was creepy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. How do I not know where my friend is? Creepy doll hole in there. Ooh, Jesus Christ! So, I'm going in the wrong, right way now? So, I took the wrong path and I have to go this way now? See, I did that. So maybe I am supposed to go outside now. I had to trigger all the ghost events, then I can do it. Yeah, no, but see, that's going to tell me I can't go that way. I can't proceed without Rory. Maybe going this way now, I will trigger some stuff. But this way. Are the other oxen free? You get fight or something. Okay, so that leads me back down that way. Can I get through there? Apparently that cloth is very strong. It has to do something else. I went down that way, something this way. Okay. It's a creepy doll. Ooh. What's activating there? For me. Found you. You you all right? Yes. Ugh. 
of a slugfest to get there. Ew, creepy parts. Okay, so I'm back with the water. Oh, wait. I think I want this way? Ooh. Missed her. Ooh, ooh, Jesus Christ. Oh! What the hell's wrong with you, man? Hey, get off! Go away! Oh my god! Man, he's aggressive! Is that you dead? Oh, you're not dead. Fatal frame! Yeah! Good, go away. Ooh. I don't know if I was able to touch him while he was dying. Should have tried that a bit harder. Uh, also, I get coated in water every time they touch me, and that's when bad stuff happens when they get too wet. That's what that flower symbol down the bottom is, and it blooms if it's fully soaked in water. Hence why it sounds like I'm stepping with water at the moment. Here we go. Ooh! You found me. You are... the girl. Oh no! It's her! The whole time! You didn't keep it with you. Keep what? <laughs> She's upset. Token. Uh oh. Did you lose it? But our promise. Why is she more solid than the other ghosts? Is it because she's not as malevolent as the rest? You just stand there. Yeah, fair Wait. enough, it happens. <laughs> oh, a bunch of backstory to that one, guys. Yeah, this is where I need to go. Just trudge through the water. What are you talking about? I... It's not important. I understand it. Well, I don't understand it at all. Yeah, no do I. The girl. She's been waiting too. For the person with your token. Huh? He's pretty clueless, isn't he? This is where I have to fight one of those shrine maids. Okay, so can I get through here now? The door is locked. The camera is cool. It's reacting to it.
one of these boxes had it. I swear that's it. Oop, there we go. Hello! Here, run! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I'm fully wet. That's not a good thing. What the hell, man? Damn, she's quick. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Did I get you? No. Ooh, I'm really dead. I need some health. Oh, where's my health? Nope. Ooh, I think I just dodged it by accidentally pressing trying to get the health. Uh, no secret water is good. There we go, full health. Like, Jesus Christ. There we go. That got you for a good one. Gosh, you're so creepy. There you go. Up the power. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Literally, I know that was what the key was for. Okay, so I don't know what happens when the flower, like, what really will happen with the flower being fully bloomed there. Hey, there it is. Rin. It's the veiled house. I don't want to go in there. Is, is someone here? Let's go in. Heaven, no. Why was that flickering? Does that, like, affect when I pick up items, maybe? Yeah, it looks like stuff's being dragged around a lot here. Yeah, I feel like when I go to pick up items, that's what happens. You know what? I can actually get rid of that. There you go. Hey, TV! What's on the old boob tube? the same for me to check out. Oh, nothing there. Here we go. Medicine! Oh. Gotcha! Remember in Kinji what a tower is. Powerful forces holding it shut. Okay. Where are you? Ooh, I see you. I get past. What's up? How are you doing? Ooh.
Need this camera to load quicker. Gotcha. Damn it. It's still. I can watch how they died. Creepy as hell. Well, that sucks, buddy. I'm sorry. Hello? Ren. You're too late. Phone went dead. Ah, uh... Kazuya. Really? Is that him? This is just like like that picture you were looking at. Uh oh, same picture. Kazuya. It's not creepy or anything. More items. Okay, there's a particular custom in this country. It varies from region to region, but the route is the same. It's mysterious, yet somehow beautiful. People would understand it. I traveled across the country before settling on this mountain. The beauty of the morning dew, the powerful heartbreak of the sun setting behind the mountain, and the grave and solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, the water itself is reserved. But why? Try and understand this. I have made the mountain my home. Be a pretty good mountain. It wasn't for all the ghosts and shit, and deaths and suicides. Thanks for the film. Okay, I'm gonna head this way then. Look, it's an item. Hello. Oof. Hello. Did that hurt? Hope so. Come back here. Hello. Enjoy it, lady. Oh, get back here. Need you in focus. Where is she? Ooh. Gotcha. Throw the frame. Throw the frame. You dead? I'm gonna touch it. I'm happy to see how she died. Maybe it's because it glitched out. Uh, defeat the ghost and go take uh, steal that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No! Take those photos. Wow, you took some damage, didn't you? Oh, I didn't even get touch him. Alright, looks like I can go that way. Here's an item. Watch out for the ghost hands. 
Oh, that's a good thing. Get in some drills. Some sacred water. Damn, those powerful forces, right? I have to admit, I do love the atmospheric music. Oh. Yes, I see you. I see, it looks like a zombie, don't you reckon? No ghost hands. Ah, we're good, no ghost hands. Spawn photography made its way over from the west along with the spread of the camera. When photography was still rare, images of the deceased helped the surviving family members deal with their grief. I don't understand that. I don't think pictures of your dead relatives are really good. You know, photos when they're alive would be a better thing. But like when they're often and stuff, I don't get it. Postmodern photographs that still exist in Japan use the same methodology as their western counterparts, but with less. But the significance seems to differ. Those taken here in the Matakami region especially seem to embody a certain public beauty. I believe this photo is worth the work of a scientist named Kunihiko Aso. Having researched photos from other areas as well, it seems he is the one behind many of them. His surviving records indicate his determination to use photography to capture the soul. Seeing these strange and captivating photographs, I've come to believe we had some degree of success in doing so. I do too with my camera too. I, the ghost souls. An old friend of mine used to call cameras lonely boxes. I'm not sure if he meant that subject appears trapped alone in the dark box viewed through the viewfinder or that looking through the viewfinder meant peering out through the dark all alone. I like that. It's pretty dark. At any rate, I have to find those words have a certain resonance. Okay, carrying on. This is a big chapter. Ooh. Where? You still here? The waters of the mountain are beautiful. Large running waters flow from the lake at the summit. Coming rivers and waterfalls and the mountain mist. Water covers everything. The source of the mountain's beauty as well as a sense of mystery. According to local tradition, Mount Kami is where one of the uh, could die a proper death. I don't think so, because all that ghosts are everywhere, so you know, not too proper. If it had been long considered a spiritual spot, the subject of much worship, making it the righteous destination of those seeking death. Manukami sect taught that upon dying, people return to water. Here yeah, on the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is said to return to water upon death rather than moving on to the afterlife. Yeah, right. Those ready for death would go to the mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at the scenery, I could understand how I wish my partner would stop walking around. To look at the city, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place. It's the fit for passing in this world. But it came here, the people of them have a yearning for death. This is, this is to say, they have a yearning for water, a yearning for nature, life and death, and death connected to water. Okay, so I've got that sword, we've got a cassette tape which you can probably listen to. There we go. Hey, mate. Paperwork. Saw the silhouette of Shine Maiden from within the mist that develops the mountain. With great care, she made her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed somehow unnatural. I've been told there are no more Shine Maidens on the mountain. How long ago, the main maids were murdered here. Perhaps they were changed to water. Would that then imply they are trapped within the mist? Well, mist is water, water vapor. 
What you got for me, buddy? Yep. It said that human sacrifice was once practiced throughout this region, rather than returning people to the water upon death, or returning involved place on so-called pillars and special inquiries and sending them to the water and they're still alive. That's the boxes thing. It was the role of the Shrine Mains to become such pillars, they would take on the memories of the dying and therefore return the water to themselves. If doing so, this blue subjects would continue living on its pillars. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhist monks who would enter themselves in boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show they're still alive by ringing bells and chanting. This practice may be related. Is that what they used to do to make sure someone was dead when they're buried? Is they tied it to like a bell that they can ring? What did the maidens who become pillars fear or hope to appease? These are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife is known as the netherworld or if our after is located. Some teachings say that it's above the mountains or across the sea, while others claim it lies on the ground within the earth itself. Here on the mountain it's said to lie within the water, implying a close link between water and death. The pillars within the recluse would be in a place close to death but would go living. Perhaps it is the special recluse that appeared to evade death and continue living. Close at a time, it was thought that perpetuating these pillars allowed the close, those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed the proximity to death helped develop a resistance to it. <laughs> like an inoculation. Old style vaccines, folks. Old style vaccines. They already had some vaccines for death. <laughs> Someone's like on the radio there. Ooh, just remembered something. Can I upgrade my camera? Okay, that's all fine. I'm supposed to be able to upgrade. Yep, I can upgrade here. Output potential to be able to kick their asses. Although I didn't need to do that, I was doing seven damage anyway. Ooh. He lost its head, guys. Give me! Look, it's right there! Give it! Thank you! Oh, I could stop. <laughs> oh, this is creepy. And is it there? Nope. Oh, something's going. Hello, I see ya. Okay. What's it? Matt Hakimi seems to be both revered and feared as an act of death, where only those prepared to die enter, and those who visited were never allowed to leave. Wizards and Matt had to pass through the Shrine Grove at the foot of the mountain, where Shrine Maids kept strict watch and allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. Today, the shrine at the grave is being rebuilt as an inn with innkeeper Kana led me borrow records of the time period. The records have been shrines for a year with one individual who may was able to leave the mountain alive. Ooh. Nico Asu. After taking his personal photographs, it seems he was invited to the mountain to photograph the maids. I've heard his recession to the hereafter allowed him to develop a special camera. The camera obscura, guys. If I could see the photos of the shrine maids taken with a special camera, so I could come closer to unraveling the mysteries of the Manakini. When invited to the mountain, it is said he was allowed into a house visited only by select few individuals. If I was invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place too? I truly wish I could. This is pouring into the room, it's not a good sign. I should get out of here. 
Yeah! What the hell's going on with that mist? Hey, my thing's dropping down on me, guys. Atmospheric music so loud. Something's going to happen. So, all flying through there. Of course. It wants me to go in here, doesn't it? Apparently, it wants me to fight. Okay, can I fight it? Oh. How I'm supposed to dodge that? Ooh. Who's he? Um, recharge, 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 recharge. That's it. Fatal frame. Oh, feel it. That would have hurt. Oh, yeah, not so tough. Come here, I want to touch it. Ooh. This is how he died, guys. I made it. At last. She's waiting for me inside this house. I must hurry. Same photo. Oh, you'll pull back in. On the way to the summit, I found a photo of a small path along the spider wheels. This path seemed to head to the forest, but had become overgrown and impossible. Could it lead to the mansion? The only way that only then value can apply? In the different. It is different from the other postborn photographs, and I only describe it as being beautiful. The beauty and sadness are like any others have seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she was, I was bound. I thought this was all love from the photograph. Ooh, that is creepy. They were the words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated. Yeah, I need to get out of here. My friend's still here? Rui? You here? Oh yeah, it's just behind me. It's all good. Come off. So, is there another way in over here? Okay, oh, yeah, that door over there. Why is it so hard to open that? Come 
the end of it. You gotta come at me. Come at me, bro. Ooh. I see ya. Ooh. Ow. I stab, bro. That wasn't cool. Get out of here. Stab at me. Thing to heal. Holy crap! Oh, sorry, I told you about that. I'm really focused on trying to kill this guy. Gotcha! Fatal. F oh. Does he open the place up for me? Okay. Can I check over this way first? So, we came from this way? Ooh. Uh, I bet you there was a ghost there I was supposed to take a photo of. No clue where I am, but I'm supposed to be getting that. Oh yeah, I know where I am now. <laughs> I was supposed to find something there. <laughs> it disappears. Wow, creepy. Station? Was that was that the folklore? I guess so. Just what is going on in this mountain? Bad things. I'm not sure. Enough. Lots of herbs. Oh, I need like camera stuff. So we use the cat cable car? Did I miss how I get up there? Oh, yeah, I totally missed that. What a odd thing to have here. Grab your hands, that's always an added bonus. Okay. Ren and Rory set out to find the Fakora's house, relying on clues from video recording. As they passed through the Shrine of Dolls, the white haired girl from Red Streams appeared. She asked why they didn't bring a token and vanished. Ren and Rory arrived at the Vale house where they 
discovered several of Kenji Warriors' writings of the customs and police around Makakami. They escaped the house and we see it vanish in a thick veil of mist. B. I've got some points. It's always good. Awesome source. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was a little bit more scary in the dark, that's for sure. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube later or later on on Twitch, thank you very much. Make sure you give us a follow, or if on YouTube, uh, like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. The details on YouTube are on my profile, so if you want to check out some of the older stuff that doesn't stick over on Twitch, um, yeah, pop on over. I really like that. Anyway guys, kind of caught it there, it's pretty late, I'm getting pretty tired, pretty big day, streamed an uh, extra one of these games out, did some rehearsals, and now, yeah, this old boy's ready for bed. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all during the next stream. Later days guys.